Hello folks, oh, it's been a while. I did a review and I promised you guys via a YouTube short that I will be reviewing the Miyapta Mio Air 10 by 42 binocular. So I took my sweet time, I reviewed, I tested this binocular for almost a month. This binocular traveled with me almost every day in my backpack, wherever I went, whether I went shopping, grocery shopping, Cabela's, you know, I visited Baltimore, a uh, couple other places, and I took it uh, bird watching. Just I pull, I would pull over my truck, you know, on the side of the road and just try to watch uh, vultures, eagles, and uh, you know, birds just, you know, flying around, whatever. So I think I'm ready to review this binocular and I'm very glad to uh, test this binoculars and you know give you guys a report that these binoculars are really really nice. Now uh, the you see two more binoculars on the table. So this is my primary uh, birding binocular. This is the Swarovski uh, EL 8.5 by 42. This is Miyapta Mio Air 10 by 42. So I did not have exact, uh, you know, magnification to compare with. And this is my Steiner uh, Military Marine 10 by 50. So I don't have exact, you know, specification of binoculars to review, but I don't think so it matters that much. What we're going to talk about is not about magnification, but other qualities. So this, just to make this clear, this binocular is not mine. I don't own these binoculars. These are uh, on loan from Miyapta. I requested them, I said, you know, I'm not seeing much uh, you know, advertisement or any hype about these binoculars, but you guys say, hey, it is really good, so can you send me one to review? And Miyapta was nice enough to send me one binocular. Now, these two binoculars I paid with my own money. You know, five years ago I paid like $2,000 or something for this binocular. This binocular I bought for 100 bucks. Believe it or not, it's a $500 binocular, but I bought it for 100 bucks. Uh, this is my truck binocular. So this stays in my truck 24-7, 365 days a year. And the reason it's there is because uh, I, I read somewhere that excessive heat can damage the optics of your binoculars. So I don't want my expensive binocular to, you know, get damaged while, you know, sitting in my car during summer. So this binocular just stays there. And Steiner is known for their warranty. So I know if there's any issue with this binocular, I can send it back and they will fix it. A separate review is coming on this binocular. Uh, this this binocular is in its in own class. All right, so let's get back to Miyapta Mio Air. So these days, you know, the biggest hype is the NL Pure, Swarovski NL Pure, right? Before that, you know, Swarovski was like, hey, single bridge, single bridge. This single bridge was being shouted off of the roofs. This is the best thing, best thing. I don't know why they went to, uh, you know, uh, that the new design. What is it called? Uh, hinge something. I forgot. So you, you understand what I'm saying? That those binoculars don't have this hinge right here. They only have one hinge here. So earlier they were like, Swarovski was like, oh, this is the best way to hold the binocular for birding. It's very stable, blah, blah, blah. Now they removed this and now they're hyping the, uh, you know, wasp shape, which I don't like. My hands are too big for that tiny binocular. This binocular fits me the best. So, Miyapta uh, Mio Air. If you see the similarities, open bridge design. Sorry, I've been, used, I've been referring to it as single bridge. So this is open bridge design and the other one is single hinge, right? So if you see, there's a lot of similarities in design. So you can say that, you know, Miyapta tried to go after Swarovski EL's design, which is not a bad thing. A lot of companies are, you know, if something is better, you know, you can follow the design. There's nothing bad in it. And as consumers, we get a better product at the end, right? So, so these binoculars, first of all, first of all, we all know, you know, these eye cups, 
Swarovski has one of the weakest eye cups. They always break and they lose. I don't know why other companies cannot come with this design. Look at this. Magnetic. That's all. They don't break. If you pull them, they don't break. And they are not, the, the magnet is not as uh, weak that they will fall off. But if you don't need them, just pull them, put them on the side, and you're good to go. The, the construction of the binocular, the build quality, is almost as good as Swarovski. I say almost as good because, you know, there are few things that I don't like. So let's get it out of the way. This binocular does not have a locking diopter. But hear this. So it's not that you will miss it. Just take a Sharpie, make a mark here. So if you see it is not on the mark, just put it on the mark. Not a big deal. New Swarovski NL Pures uh, don't have a locking diopter either. Nobody's complaining. So, you know, people, people try to, uh, you know, be picky when they, when they are, you know, reviewing these cheaper binoculars. Cheaper, in, I'm not saying in terms of quality, but as compared to high-end products. When they buy a high-end product, you know, I think it's psychologically, uh, how to say it, that they, they don't want any, they don't want to find any faults in that product because it hurts them they, that they spent three thousand dollars and it has some flaws but you know people get very nitpicky with the binoculars that are like one third the price uh so question of the price uh one thousand dollars i'm pretty sure you will find them cheaper on the street okay so back to the features it's all magnesium construction it's very lightweight uh almost the same weight as Rasky's. Uh, if you see, I, I, the, the focus is higher, sits higher than the Swarovski, a little bit, and which, is, which makes it more comfortable because your, your fingers are you know, more in line when you are trying to focus. The focus initially was a little bit hard, but after you know, two weeks of use, it is still a little bit heavy to turn, but it's very smooth. And it's very, the best feature about, you know, in, other than the uh, optical properties, the best feature about this binocular like is that the focus is very, very uh, precise. So, you know, there are some binoculars where you keep turning them and you feel like whether I'm in focus or not. This binocular, at one point, it will be focused. If you move it slightly, it will be not. So basically, you will know when you are in focus. So I like that. Uh, the, all the construction, the fit and finish, you can see is excellent. I cannot, you know, find any faults in the craftsmanship. It's amazing. There are, these eye cups are almost similar as Swarovski's. Almost similar. Uh, position number one, two, three, four, more than enough what you need. Now, specification wise, if you compare the 10 by 42 EL, these, this, has, this binocular has exactly the same specifications. Uh, only thing that Swarovski website says is that ELs have 90% light transmission, these have 83. So it sounds a lot on paper. So, you know, magnification is something that I'm very confused about. I have really good vision and I, when I try to compare the brightness of the binoculars, right, uh, even at, like when it gets really, really dark around my house, at least, uh, it's still bright enough that I can see through any binocular. So I, I, I cannot compare the brightness of these binoculars. You know, if, if Miyapta says 83%, I believe them it's 83%. When Swarovski says it is 90%, I don't believe them because a lot of tests have shown that their binoculars usually don't have exact transmission numbers, what they've published on their websites, except the SLC 8 by 56 the latest ones, HDs, WBs, whatever they are. Uh, they do have 93% light transmission. These ones, they say 90, it could be anything between 87 to 80, 89 or 90, you never know. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. 
but other than that, this binocular has wide field of view, same as the ELs, and uh, same magnification, same field of view angle. Uh, the close focus on the new uh, Swarovskis is uh, higher close focusing distance than these. So these bead Swarovskis in that area. Uh, some people don't prefer the new EL uh, field package, you know, those funny uh, attachment system. I think this is a plus point. You have a universal, you know, uh, whatever this thing is, you know, I or whatever you can call this loop to, you know, thread your uh, bino uh, binocular harness and stuff. And this binocular, okay, look at this. Very easy to mount them on a tripod. You don't have to send them into some, you know, custom shop to get them drilled and all that, or, you know, buy that funny straps that hold the binoculars here. You can just, you know, have a standard uh, uh, adapter and mount them, you know, like this should be. So, you know, good. You know, good. Uh, this is a good feature, definitely. Now, these binoculars also say they are HD. HD is nothing but you know uh, there are some elements that have fluoride in them, and it helps to get sharper images. So let's come to the uh, optical properties real quick now. So when I when I started using these binoculars, right. Initially, I was not impressed because I have been using ELs for a long time. And when I looked at these, it was like same thing. You know, I, I did not feel anything different and I was not impressed. And then a few days later, I realized that I am not, you know, analyzing this test or doing this test the way it should be. I am not impressed because I am just comparing a $1,000 binocular to a $2,000 binocular. And the reason I'm not impressed is because the image quality is so close, you know? Now, when I think about that, this is a $1,000 binocular and the image quality is as close as possible to the $2,000 binocular, now I'm kicking myself in the shin that why, you know, I, should I should I just get rid of my ELs and then just keep these and then you know I can sell these for fifteen sixteen hundred dollars and buy these maybe for eight nine hundred bucks and put six hundred dollars you know back in my pocket. I don't see anything that these binoculars can't do that this can do. I know it's a big name, Trotsky, fancy name, uh, but. Money is money, right? And if I'm just using this binocular in the field, I'd rather save 600 bucks. And and listen to this. Miapta has as good warranty as any brand in the world. Maybe even better. They don't ask questions. These guys, oh man, these guys are so good. Like, I've heard stories where people send in their binoculars and they are just receiving new binoculars because Miapta found that, you know, fixing the binocular might cost them more. So they just sent them new binoculars. Now, don't start, you know, breaking your binoculars and keep sending them to Miapta. You know, I don't want <laughs> Miapta to, you know, just stop that policy, you know. this. But other than that, they, they will take care of you guys. Uh, other surprising thing is recently most of the Swarovskis that I bought, all of them had dust in them inside the lenses and they made make a big big fuzz oh you know a little bit dust is you know normal you know uh they're gonna be used in the field they're gonna get dust scratched blah blah bullshit sorry for that word but even a hundred dollar steiner that i bought you know eight hundred dollar binocular miapta perfect interior Perfectly blackened, no signs of dust. This binocular here, I cannot show you, but if you see through this end, you will see that the the blackening of the inside barrels is not perfect. You will see bright spots. For two thousand dollar binocular, that is not a good quality control. Sorry, Sraski. You know, I I have to be honest. Now this is my own binocular. 
So I can I have full right to, you know, trash these binoculars, you know, or Swarovski brand because you know this is mine. This one is on loan. I don't care. I have to be honest. I'm not keeping these binoculars. I'm sending them back right now because these are on loan. The reason I'm sending these back is because I like eight times magnification more than ten times magnification. Uh, it's just me. Maybe I'm old school. I don't like high power binoculars because then I have to mount them on the tripod, and I usually handheld my binoculars. So, uh, but the image and the resolution of this binoculars, you will be surprised. They are so sharp. I think I think this is one of the sharpest binoculars. I've you know looked through like when you focus you know that you're in focus every edge every shape is sharp like razor sharp no chromatic aberration there is slight chromatic aberration uh, you can say same as this one same as Swarovski Swarovski is not 100% chromatic aberration free and I I I can, you know, tilt the binocular in a way, you know, when I'm looking through it, that I can produce chromatic aberrations through any binocular. So, you know, if you see straight through the binoculars, I don't think so, you will notice it. Uh, now, I'm surprised about the brightness number though. 83%, uh, it sounds too low, but I have not you know, experienced you during daytime or in the evening that the binocular was not bright enough. So far, I have not come into, you know, situation where, where I would say, oh, I cannot see through these binoculars that the binocular is not bright enough. Uh, so I'm highly, highly impressed with this binocular. I, I, I think I, I am going to ask, or I'm going to buy a eight times magnification for my wife or maybe you know just just to you know keep it as a backup binocular and i think this binocular uh will be good for anybody you know in any situation if you are a hunter you are a birder but definitely this is the best buy binocular for under thousand bucks if you are a birder because it has really really flat field of view it's very, very sharp. It's, I, I would say it's bright enough or it's really bright, I can even say, that you will not miss any detail. And it has this open, open bridge design, which is easier to hold for a long time. And then, you know, the focus is very, very precise. You have four, you know, eye cup positions. It comes with these magnetic eye cups. See how easy it is to attach? That's it. And then, if you lose them, you know, that's okay. I, you, you can, you know, I'm pretty sure Miapta will replace them for you. But I don't think so. They are any, like, rather than breaking them, you know, you can just detach them and put them in the bag, right? And then you don't have to struggle with, you know, a loop, putting that loop around this edge. You know, always when I try to do that, I end up putting, you know, my thumbprints on the lens then I have to clean the lens so nothing like that just bring it close to the barrel it will attach do this you're good to go when you don't need them pick them out uh, I would like to congratulate Miapta that for such a good price they have been able to create a such high quality product uh, this is amazing amazing now uh, this is thousand bucks MSRP if you compare it to uh, a vortex vortex razor I'm gonna tell you that you will not be impressed with vortex razor it has too much chromatic abrasion and it's way too heavy okay if you compare it to Zeiss Zeiss build quality compared to this is like I don't know how to say it doesn't feel as good you will feel that that binocular is not you will know that that binocular is not Zeiss flagship model this one feels like a flagship model from Swarovski, Leica, you know, Zayas, any company you can say this, this, the build quality is so good. It comes with standard accessories, a bag, a binocular harness and stuff. Uh, when you register them with uh, Miapta, I think they have 30 year warranty. 
who has seen 30 years guys i don't know why people make such a big fuss about 30 years warranty uh, i will be lucky if i'm alive by 30 years so i as long as just 10 years i'm i'm okay but these binoculars do have lifetime or 30 year warranty so i highly highly recommend these binoculars uh like you will not be disappointed uh I, I don't want to talk too much about optics because you know every eyes are different so all i can tell you is they are sharp they are bright the colors are really good i people people say me after glasses a little bit warm uh i don't think so you will feel the difference when you compare it to any other you know uh high-end brand they, they they are all the same when when you're comparing you know like binoculars at 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 high you know the like the higher models of all the binoculars is a personal choice you cannot you know compare them and say hey that's not better than the other uh they are very minute differences definitely but they are not that drastic uh Leica has their own fan following Zeiss people swear by Zeiss Swarovski people say you know Swarovski is the best uh you know it it's just personal personal preference this binocular definitely uh other than the brightness that I cannot confirm, sharpness, resolution, colors wise, this will be as good as, as any binocular that you can buy or you will need. Need is the key word, right? Uh, you can say for, you know, 2% more, 2% uh, better optics or ergonomics, you want to pay $2,000, more power to you. I would rather keep those $2,000 and spend them on hunting trip or birding trip or buy some other, you know, uh, hunting gun or whatever. You know, you can <laughs> you can use your money however way you want. Uh, I'm pretty sure the 2% difference you will not miss, but $2,000, you know, in your pocket, you will really feel good about it. That's all, folks. If you have any other questions, uh, ask in the comments and I will answer.